well. I think we wanted something that was definitely authentic to the story, to the bikers, that very, <laughs> it, it, it captured that very Western and very edgy theme. Uh -huh. um, and Carrie had heard Brian Setzer live at the Hollywood Bowl. Um, and he came to me and one day was like, what do you think of the Brian Setzer Orchestra? And I was like, that would be awesome, let's do it. And so, Kerry later on met someone, and we can elaborate from here. Well, I, I don't know Brian Setzer, and he's not signed for the movie, but he is the guy I want. He's had his songs used in a lot of soundtracks, but he's never composed a score for a movie. And he, with his orchestra, he not only does, you know, Stray Cats, Rockabilly, stuff like that, which is what he's known for, but, oh my God, he has a whole album which he takes classical music by different composers and does his own version of it. Mm -hmm. He does a version of the James Bond theme that is accurate to the original and yet his own interpretation. I hear the twangy sound of East Texas in his music. I hear the youthful sound of these teenage characters. I hear the kind of scary, ominous sound of creeping through a graveyard at night to peek in some windows at the brothel out of town. I hear all these different moods and in the script I have written that music into the script in terms of what kind of music backs up this sequence. So the music is, as, is not an afterthought the way it often is for a movie. It's a part of the story from the get-go and I hope that my C3 music people down in Austin, Texas uh, they said they can get two sets her and set up a meeting and so we're, we're, we haven't done it yet. We're that's what we're hoping video. for. We're, we're just sending in this video. We're sending it to you right now. <laughs> that's right. right. That's okay. Right.